On Sunday, June 10th, the Mer streaming Hawaiian Iveron icon of the Mother of God concluded a two-week visitation to the Eastern American Diocese. With the blessing of the first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, His Eminence Metropolitan Hilarion, the icon visited ten parishes and monasteries of different jurisdictions located within the geographical borders of the Eastern American Diocese. The final visit of the icon was to St. George's Church in Howell, New Jersey. The icon was greeted by the vicar of the Eastern American Diocese, His Grace George, Bishop of Mayfield, who led the divine services co-served by parish clergy. Wherever the Mer streaming icon went, hundreds and thousands of the faithful would flock to venerate it and be anointed with the holy myrrh that poured from it. The paper icon was produced in Moscow by the church supply firm Sofrena and is a scan of the original Montreal Merce streaming icon of the Mother of God, which disappeared in 1997 with the martyrdom of its guardian, Brother Jose Munoz Cortes. The current icon was given as a gift to reader Nectarius Yangson, a parishioner of the Holy Theotokos of Iveron Church in Hawaii, by his parish priest. In 2007, during the signing of the Act of Canonical Communion between the Moscow Patriarchate and the Russian Church abroad, the icon started to stream myrrh and filled the entire house with the smell of roses. The smell continued for several months until reader Nectarius discovered the icon covered in myrrh atop his bookshelf in October of 2007 the 10th anniversary of the martyrdom of Brother Jose. After the icon was declared a genuine miracle by His Eminence Kirill, Archbishop of San Francisco in Western America in June 2008, it began to travel to hundreds of parishes and monasteries in the United States, healing the divisions between the Orthodox jurisdictions and bringing the faithful closer to God. This was all so very uplifting. This is the most appropriate word for the occasion, uplifting. We were lifted up from earth to heaven. We witnessed the church full of sweet fragrance, and I saw the great quantity with which myrrh poured out of the holy icon. The kiot itself has to be replaced regularly because of the effects of all the myrrh on the wood, and, and it is very large amount of mirror coming from the front, from the back, all, from all over, and uh, even the glass itself is streaming mirror. Several copies uh, of this humble little icon that has begun giving mirror, there were two paper prints, you know the little prints we give out to all the people uh, as a gift, a remembrance. There were two at a Greek Orthodox church in uh, Fresno that were streaming for many months. Three that we gave to a monastery in uh, New York City called the Mercy House, a monastery under Father Joachim Parr. They started streaming, in fact, they had them in a bowl, which was very interesting, and the middle would drip into the bowl. There are icons in Pennsylvania that uh, have been giving myrrh as well, uh, copies that we've given to some people, other icons in California, throughout the country, icons that have been touched to this icon of the Mother of God, this holy icon, it seems that other icons that are placed around her have also begun giving her. A Greek elder once told me that windows, uh, uh, icons are windows into heaven. He said, but what is very interesting is this window has been left open. So grace flows to and from it. And um, that's why other icons uh, start to give her around her. It's very interesting. We'll place her on, an, on alloy. And after a long period of time, you'll start to notice tiny beads of myrrh forming on the unalloy itself. Когда я наблюдал за ликом царицы небесной, когда я видел лица людей стоящих вокруг, as I gazed at the image of the heavenly queen, as I saw the faces of the people surrounding her, no doubt remained in my heart, as there may once have been, owing to my own weakness, as to whether or not I were on the right path. When we greeted the icon, it was as though the people, who stood with tears in their eyes, were greeting the icon in order to share their burdens, share their difficulties, as to our own mother, but even greater than our own mother, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we poured out our sorrow upon her, and after each one fell on his knees before her, asking what each of them could, and I saw as they arose, and I too, as I arose, felt relief in my heart. Additionally, I could just tell by uh, 
uh, the spirit in the church of all the faithful, um, the power of this icon. Uh, personally, it's, um, it's helped me, uh, it's, ins uh, it's inspired me, and I just I, I look so forward each time that I have the opportunity to, to visit the icon. I would very much like for people in Russia to know more about this icon because it is a clear miracle from God who fortifies all of us in the faith. Brother Jose had, and the Montreal icon had always wished to visit w Russia um, throughout his life and she never made it there. What is interesting is that this icon, which is made at Solferino, comes from Russia, which is quite amazing. You know, I think there is a symbolism there. God is trying to teach us something, whether we open our eyes or we don't. You know, he's always trying to teach us. The original icon has disappeared and no one knew where, what happened to it. And now an exact copy of, of the original Iviran mirstreaming icon has been shown for us as a, as a sign that our our path is, is the correct one now that we're rejoining with the Moscow Patriarchate. At the icona. This icon is a symbol of unification. As the Lord summons us now all to unity, so it was five years ago, and as a sign of the same, this icon began to stream myrrh. This, of course, is a reply to all those who still harbor doubts as to whether or not we made the right decision. It's very sad when I go to some churches, some Russian churches, and people come up to me and they say, you know, we don't, we don't come to this church because it reunified with Moscow, and I said, Okay, you know, uh, I understand that, and I understand your feelings, but you know, the Mother of God is here. She said, well, can I go to the priest to be anointed? And I said, well, you can, you should, because it is the grace of the Holy Spirit visibly showing itself upon us, something tangible that we can touch, we can taste, we can feel. So I told her, I said, if you if you don't, you literally are rejecting the Mother of God. You know, whatever the, the politics of the priests are, your politics, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. What matters is that your heart is open to God. After the divine services in St. George's Church, the icon returned to its home in Hawaii. The next visit to the Eastern American Diocese is scheduled to coincide with the official celebration of the fifth anniversary of the reunification during a joint pastoral conference of patriarchal and diasporan clergy on October 11th, 12th, and 13th in Nyack, New York. On October 27th and 28th, the icon will be in Holy Trinity Monastery in Jordanville, New York for memorial services at the grave of Brother Jose. It is interesting to note that 2012 is the 30th anniversary of the appearance of the original Mer Streaming Montreal icon, the 15th anniversary of Brother Jose's martyrdom, and the 5th anniversary of the appearance of the Hawaiian icon. Peter Lukianov, Media Office of the Eastern American Diocese.